what you're looking at is my Snap-on MT2500. Old device, new to me, and it's going to work just fine because I have a 1990 Jeep Cherokee with the Renex configuration. Of course, those in the know know that that is pre-ODB1 scanner interface. So this MT2500 has the capability of reading the computer in my Jeep. That's why I bought it. I just have to pick up a cable on eBay. It's going to cost me about 10 bucks. The unit here that you're looking at, I've got this for $200 from a local. Also got a couple more modules here for Asian products, which I won't be using now, but this is what I'm going to be needing for my 1990 Jeep. Beautiful. So, let me plug in the modules. Hook it up to the Jeep. Let's start reading and scanning. Okay, I've got my scanner hooked up here. Have my data cable, brand new, untested. And I have my Jeep One connector, brand new and untested as well too, and plugged into the diagnostic connector. Let me uh, turn the Jeep on and uh, let's see what we get. Okay, there's my initial screen. It says generic OBD2. Sure, if I'm uh, liking that, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna press Y to continue. Y again to diagnose, and I'm gonna press N for connector information. Y again. I'm gonna scroll up. I'm not sure if this is making any adjustments, but. I select G Cherokee lower dashboard well that's not correct there is no connector there I'm thinking maybe I have the wrong primary cartridge but it looks okay to me I'm gonna press Y to continue If I go into the protocol here, I'm using the auto detect. And we'll start. Got the number one LED flickering on and off. Sure, what that means. There's something wrong here. It seems to be as far as I can get. Any ideas as to what can be wrong? This is a 1990 Jeep Cherokee Renix system. Of my data cable, of my Jeep One connector. All of this is new to me and unproven as to if everything is 100%. Those are new cables that I bought off eBay. 
the scanner was bought locally, so... That's as good as I can do for now. Any help? Appreciate it. Please advise.